So when I was younger, I always had aspirations and dreams of becoming a professional athlete. I figured someday I'm gonna be playing baseball for the Los Angeles Dodgers, or maybe on the basketball court as a Los Angeles Laker. So unfortunately, I didn't grow to be six foot five. Growing up, we were, uh, we were very blessed and fortunate. My family was able to uh, afford me the opportunity to play sports. But I'm a first generation college student. My parents attained their high school diplomas and after that they got into the workforce at a rather young age. They still though instilled in me a work ethic and respect aspect that I think has carried me through my life. In my current job, I'm the assistant superintendent of business services here at the San Bernardino County Superintendent of Schools. I have roughly between 250 to 300 staff members across my branch that I'm responsible for. I can honestly say that every day I get up in the morning and I know that I got to come to work, I'm excited to actually get to, get to the job. I kind of remember the day when my high school football coach pulled me aside and said, what do you want to do after high school? And I said, Coach, I want to go into the military. He helped shepherd me along the way. We opened up applications at all the service academies. And so at that point, I had full knowledge of the fact that once you're done with one of the service academies, you're going to serve your country. But I was committed to that. I saw myself as serving and giving back to my country. I wanted to lead people. Um, and I was able to accomplish all of those things. Um, it just so turned out that I decided to exit the military and come into education. He immediately said, let's get, you, let's get you going. Let's get you involved in CASBO. That was one of the first things that he told me is if you want to develop your network, get involved in CASBO right away. It was the best thing. It was, it was lonely going to my first annual conference because I didn't know anybody. I think I was like three or four months on the job. I started to interface and network with people that were doing the exact same work that I was doing. I took that opportunity to really kind of explore during that conference not just within the purchasing realm, but in areas outside of the purchasing realm that were still affecting what I do or that I had some effect on them. An individual, he was uh, an assistant superintendent for business over in uh, the first district that I worked for. His name was Steve Carey. He was my first mentor into the business of what we do in the business of schools. He asked me what my goals and aspirations were and I said, I'd like to be, I'd like to be in your shoes one day. As I think and reflect back on the last 15 years of my experience, it's been about really exposing myself to not just what I'm doing, but what others are doing to be able to better be a, a, a servant to them as far as helping them do their jobs well. And that's, that's why I'm a CBO today. Education is just a phenomenal place to be. You, are, you get to be a part of something that really is, is providing for our youth and it's shaping society as we as we go along